we are on track to design a zero emissions car. We are Purdue Solar Racing from Purdue University in the United States. Transportation is obviously a very critical part of everyone's lives. Being able to transport ourselves sustainably is going to become very, very important if we want to hit our energy neutral goals. And given that cars are probably the most common part of transportation, finding a way to make that form of transportation more sustainable is what Purdue Solar Racing is trying to do. Putting solar panels on our car was an obvious decision. The solar panels were made by students at Purdue University actually provide power directly to the electrical system. So we have a in-hub motor which is powered by the battery system and the solar panels provide power to this battery. It allows us to stay energy neutral at around 20 miles per hour which means that all the energy consumed by the motor is actually equivalent to the amount of energy provided by the solar panels. A lot of people will say that it's a battery or an electric car on which we've added solar panels, which it is to some degree. But the main difference here is that our solar panels are actually able to provide as much power as the motor consumes. The battery is just there to control and monitor the amount of energy in the car. Obviously with solar being our energy source in the case of a cloud or something, you wouldn't want the motor to lose all of its power and therefore the battery just allows us to leverage that. So in the case of overcurrent, we're able to recharge the battery. And in the case of a little bit less sun, we'll be able to discharge the battery. So it allows to monitor the amount of energy in the vehicle. A lot of people usually ask about the weight of these solar panels, as obviously a lot of people are accustomed to solar panels that you find on traditional farms or that you find on top of buildings. And our panels were made by ourselves, which means that we were able to actually control the weights of these panels. The one and a half meter squared of solar panels we currently have on our vehicle weigh maybe under two kilos total. So the extra weight from these solar panels is obviously negligible compared to the amount of energy and power that they provide. The biggest challenge that faces the world or society with sustainability is the fact that all of these new technologies that have come up have made our lives way easier. In that sense, it's very convenient, but there's always a balance to things. So providing ourselves with more free time or more easy access to some things, such as cars, makes us more reliable on these technologies and therefore damages another part of the world, such as the environment. It's difficult to overcome the simplicity of driving our car to work, but if that can be done in a sustainable manner, there is no reason not to. When it comes to the future, there's a lot of changes to come to transportation, and being able to be part of this new era that's going to innovate and build the next worlds, basically, is very exciting. A lot of the members on the team are very excited and motivated by the impact that we'll have. 20 years from now, I'd love to watch this recording again and see where we've come from. Visit our playlist for more stories from Shell Eco Marathon.